This video is one of the videos that explain about Athena program, which is a finite element based software system specifically developed for nonlinear analysis for reinforced concrete structures. Athena program produced by Chervenka company. You can find us via the website and download the program from it or on YouTube by name Chervenka Consulting or in Facebook by name Athena. The example used in this video is the same example in tutorial 5. In this video, we will explain how to define strengthening by fabric. The process is the same as for lamellas. At first, we decide location of fabric, then draw it. After that, we add material parameters. Finally, the time when fabric is activated. As we see, the fabric is modeled as 2D surface. Now we will define the first point. Then, by using copy command, we will complete the uh, model. We have the point now by command copy we have point we need line so I do extrude line then uh, z the axis 0.32 as we see in picture uh, select and now we have line we need surface z0 and surface by x distance as we see in picture 0 0.6 then select this line to extrude surface now we have the surface now we have surface so entity type surface we want to copy this surface to another uh, side of the beam x0 another side by y axis uh, 0 0.19 select the surface then finish now we have two surfaces on both sides we want to draw the bottom surface so from line don't forget uh, uh, click ctrl a after that then draw the line between this and this point now we have a line by copy command we have line do extrude surface because we need surface now x minus 0 0.6 select line then finish now we have the model connection between fabric and concrete beam is done by epoxy reason which we will define it by interface and as we said before we can copy the surface of the fabric with zero distance and it's useful to create special layer and call it ram interface for example before the application of fabric surface we choose this uh, layer then copy the surface so it will assign to the layer and uh, now it's easy to distinguish between fabric surface and auxiliary surface for interface now if we displayed all layers except uh, rub interface we can see the new surface that we will made it now uh, we will continue all the surfaces by the same way copy by zero distance the surface as we said and select bottom surface and the surface in the other side of beam finish we can active only a wrap interface layer to, to see the model now now the interface element is created between the surface fabric and duplicated one because the interface is in fact volume with zero the thickness so we will create the volume by create contact volume now if we click uh, on the, this surface and uh, escape we can see one surface selected not two surfaces so nothing happened so the best way 
after we con uh, select contact volume uh, we uh, select the surface by dragging like this and then we can see two surface selected now now escape we can see the volume in this layer we have now new volume and we can complete the other volumes for other surfaces by the same way now we have volume and this volume should connect with beam by master slave by this icon fixed contact for surface master is beam because the surface of beam is the biggest slave is uh, interface and name is contact now we select uh, the beam surface as master slave with the same name contact Sign it's so important to be careful with the contact at the bottom of the beam because there's already contact between beam and supporting plate, so we should call the name the same name before bottom, then assign. Select the surface of beam as master, then finish. Now slave with the same name bottom and select the interface and finish. Now we can be ensured by a draw color to see all the master slave. I will explain four ways how to model strengthening by fabric as we see on the screen. Now second type is composite materials. It's like concrete with internal re uh, smeared reinforcement. This material name is reinforced concrete material model. Here concrete part of the model serve, serves as uh, epoxy resin. To define it, data, material, salt, con concrete, reinforced concrete. Now on the beam side, we have vertical direction to fabric and in the bottom of the beam, fibers are in horizontal. So material model must, must be divided to vertical and horizontal to define direction of smeared reinforcement and other parameters remain the same. For vertical direction, Fibers orientation should be in global Z axis, but our model is 2D, so we have only XY system. But X axis for our model is identical with global X axis. So the global Z axis corresponds to the Y axis for our model. So we put number one in Y tab for direction. For the bottom, fiber go in y axis direction so we keep the number one in y tab in element geometry tab if we have global system and local system as our model is 2d and global system it is 3d so it's useful to find which axis is in local system is the same with global and here local x axis is the same with the global x axis so the vector is one zero zero we have two stages with fabric materials the first one elements for fabric are not glued to the beam in this stage uh, these elements have very low young's modulus and they don't contribute to the structural stiffness so we should define new material before uh, gluing of fabric to the beam called for example Sikara soft. It's the same except Young's modulus is divided by uh, 10,000. And now these materials should assign to the surface because it's in the beginning. The second stage after the fabric glued to the beam. So we should 
change soft material to the first one we defined it. We can do it by interval to show material activity. Old material, we select the material that should be replaced. New material, we select the material that will be used instead of the old one. Uh, reset new has a value 0 or 1. Value 1 means that all internal forces and in elements where materials are replaced will be reset. Now finite element mesh must be assigned and our model to this so mesh element type quadrilateral and then choose the surfaces for fabric then escape. Then mesh structured surface assign size then select the structures and the size and uh, mesh should be thinner than beam mesh because usually the slave surface have thinner mesh than master. Now we make generate mesh as we see. Now we are ready to go to analyze by clicking on this button. And we can make a diagram between reactions and displacement as we explained in previous video during the analysis. When the calculations are complete, we can copy this diagram by clicking Ctrl C on it and go to the model without any strengthening and also uh, copy uh, the diagram for it by clicking Ctrl C also and then uh, paste them in Excel and make the curves as we see to compare the results between model without strengthening and model with strengthening. Finally, we thank you for your attention and for any inquiries, please don't hesitate to contact us. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.